Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Get Geometrics Engineering. Here we will learn about Geometrics Engineering and prepare you for Get. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about projection system. So in this projection system, the first com component thing is map projection. What is map projection? In this map projection, we project a 3D surface up out into 2D surface. Okay. For this projection, there was present the graticular line, which is the main component of the projection of map. The map projection denotes the preparation of graticular on the flat surface, which I already told to you. But if anyone asks you what is map projection, okay, you have to answer it properly. So what would be your answer? The map projection is a systematic drawing of parallel of latitude and meridians of longitude, which is known as graticular on the plane surface okay so it is a, it is a systematic drawing of which of the graticular line which contain latitude and longitude on the plane surface for what for the whole world art or a part of it on certain scale the reason of the scale the reason is so that the any point of the art surface may correspond to that on the drawing okay so if we say it in a single line, then we can say it is a systematic drawing of parallel of latitude and medians of longitude on a plane surface for the whole world of earth uh, or a part of it on certain scale so that any point of earth surface may correspond to that on the drawing. Okay. So there were some criteria, selection criteria for map projection. Those are conformality, distance, direction, and area. Conformality means what does it mean by conformality? Conformality means the same scale present for everywhere on it. Okay. Then it's known as conformal map. Conformal map. Okay. Means if if uh, hello. If sorry for this convenience, uh, if this is a map, okay. Suppose this is a map for the scale for this place, this place, every place, every place, every direction, it remains same, okay. Distance, this means from the center point of the map, from the center point of the map, it measures correctly to all direction, any direction. Or any point okay like this direction this direction this direction every direction it's the distance measured correctly measure correctly then if the distance measured correctly for the map then the map known as equidistance map Equi distance map next the direction have you heard the term azimuth what does it means azimuth means it is an angle between a point on line with another point okay means the angle from this point to this point okay it's known as azimuth its direction have to present for a map is very important area area is the all mapped portion on the map of the arc surface remain same scale okay like we know we can't project the arc surface with arc surface area into a map like this with actual area means if it's present in 1000 km square area in our surface we can't draw we can't project this 1000 km square in a single piece of paper or single map for that we have to draw a scale like this or define different there was large scale there was small scale various scale but the scale value remains same for the 
all portion of the map all point of the map all area of the map okay so by which the area is calculate from the map same as our surface okay next we come to the classification of map projection there are various type of classification of map projection depending on defined basis those are method of construction preserved qualities developed surface area position of tangent surface position of viewpoint but here we describe only the developed surface area which is most important and uh, also used for the projection of map okay the for the basics of developed surface area map projection is four types number one is cylindrical where the cylinder is put over the earth surface like this okay this is cylindrical and project the earth surface this earth surface like this way this is a conical where the cone placed over the earth surface and this is the azimuth okay Another is conversion. Okay, we describe it one by one, then you will understand everything about this. First, come to cylindrical projection system. Okay, it is a form of projecting of a spherical surface onto the cylinder. Okay, so this is a spherical surface. This is a spherical surface, and put a cylinder like this, and project. This touched surface into a map. So how we project? So this is a condition like uh, if we put the light into the earth surface, uh, into the earth, then the light rays project on the earth, and it if we, if I develop it, then it project like this. So it's build a hollow cylinder. Okay, it's build a hollow cylinder. And then it project in 2D, and that is known as cylindrical projection. Okay, so there was uh, two cases for projecting the developed surface into the map. Number one is tangent, another is circuit. What does tangent means? Tangent means the cylinder placed over the earth surface tangent. Only. Okay, and what does second mean? Second means the cylinder puts into the earth surface means the cylinder touch the earth surface in two place one is here one is here there are various various conditions so the conditions are normal travel transverse and oblique what does mean by normal it's also known as standard actually when the cylinder placed over the earth surface with zero degree in angle from the north pole of the earth surface then it's known as normal or standard okay this is the north pole and uh, the cylinder put with zero degree angle with the north pole when the cylinder put between zero degree to 90 degree angle with the north pole like this then it's known as oblique and when the cylinder puts in 90 degree with the north pole of the earth surface then it's known as transverse so there were for normal transverse and oblique for each every type the two case will present number one is tangent number two is second okay next comes to the conical projection so what does conical projection means uh, we know the cone is put over the earth surface and project the developed area into a conical plane okay there was two important thing standard prior line and central median we know the central median or oh, what is central median it is a equator line okay it is a equator line or it's the center of the earth okay what does mean by standard prior line? this is an important question and it's chance to come in your exam the standard parallel is it's also a latitude line but it draw at that portion where 
the developed surface area bit. And now question is why the developed surface area bit? The developed surface area built on that portion by the conical surface and the earth surface touched. Okay. For this image, this is the touched portion, this and this. And the line connect these two places with this latitude line and it's known as standard parallel. Okay. Here is also two cases as well as cylindrical which is known as tangent and second. Okay. For tangent, there was only one touched area but for second there was two touched area. So, for tangent it developed one standard parallel line. For second it developed two standard parallel lines. Number one is this here, and another is here. Okay. Next, we come to the azimuthal projection. Azimuthal projection is an important projection system for projecting the earth surface into 2D. Okay. So, the azimuthal projection results from the projection of the earth surface onto a plane. So, there was various type on different basic defined defined condition for projecting the 2D, uh, 3D surface of the earth into the plane. The conditions is respect of the plane position and other is number one is the respect of the plane position and other is the location of viewpoint. Okay. So in respect of the plane position touching the globe there was three types of azimuthal position. Number one is normal and equatorial, equatorial Number two is polar, number three is oblique. From the name of equatorial, I think you already get some idea about this. For this projection, we put the plane, we put the plane on the equator line of the earth surface, which is known as equatorial azimuthal projection. When the plane puts over the earth surface, with angle, with some angle, then it's known as oblique, like this. But when the plane puts into the pole, like north pole or south pole, then it's known as polar. Okay. Next, we come to the location of the viewpoint. The, according to the location of the viewpoint, there was three type of azimuthal position. Number one is pneumonic. Number two is stereographic, number three is orthographic. In a normonic or central, the viewpoint present in the center of the globe. Like this is the globe and this is the viewpoint. Okay. And we project the earth surface like this. If this is the earth surface feature, we view from this point, then we project this earth surface to here in the 2D plane. Okay. For stereographic, the viewpoint present the opposite side of the development surface or the opposite pole of the of the plane. Okay. So this is a 2D plane of the developed surface and uh, this is the viewpoint in the opposite pole. And we view like this way and project like this feature into this plane. Okay, like this. But for the orthographic for the orthography, the viewpoint present in infinity distance. Okay, so for central viewpoint present, center of globe. For stereographic, the viewpoint present in opposite pole of the plane, and for orthographic, the viewpoint present in infinity distance. Okay. From the plane. This lecture contains this much of projection system types. For the rest portion of the projection system, I will describe in my next lecture. Okay. Thank you, thank you everyone. And I have one request to you: if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel to support us.